The House of Assembly held its sixth sitting of the third session of the Second House of Assembly on Friday, June 13. During that sitting, Leader of the Opposition Ralph O'Neill tabled the controversial Public Accounts Committee interim report on Ports Development. The Leader of the Opposition heads the Public Accounts Committee. In April, Minister for Communications and Works Mark Vantepoel questioned the accuracy of the Public Accounts Committee's special report on the Ports Development Project. During that April 17th sitting, Minister Vantepoel moved a motion for a debate on the report as soon as it was laid on the House of Assembly. But before the debate, the House of Assembly was engulfed in heated exchanges as opposition legislators argued that the report cannot be debated at that time. Minister Vantepoel was the only legislator to eventually debate the motion. He called for the three-page report to be withdrawn, questioning the veracity of the allegations and lack of evidence. Sean Rose has the details on the recent tabling of the Ports Development Project report during Friday's June 13th meeting. Coming on the heels of Minister Van Der Poel's claims that the initial three-page PSC report lacked empirical evidence, Leader of the Opposition, Honorable Ralph O'Neill, tabled the final PSC report on the cruise ship port development project and took a different stance when he called for a meeting of heads in the Assembly to discuss and arrive at a conclusion about the findings of the over 1,000 PSC page report. I beg leave, Alan Figa, to lay on the table of this honorable house. The Public Accounts Committee the final report on the cruise ship port development project. Big book, every book, and um, <laughs> members, it take members a good time to read it. Okay. And I hope, Madam Speaker, that the leader of the uh, this honorable house and myself, and others could get together and discuss this matter and see what, what is drawn all right and come to some conclusion among ourselves rather than to have outside forces come To look at us. However, First District Representative Honorable Andrew Foy called for an immediate debate on the report. Madam Speaker, if I may, I wish to move a motion that the Public Accounts Committee's final report on the cruise ship port development project be debated today in this Honorable House. Foy's request for the report to be debated was met with resistance from Premier Dr. Orlando Smith. Madam Speaker, I am flabbergasted that the member for the first district should act that this report of 100 pages, 1,000 pages, is that 1,000 pages? Double-sided, which you got three days ago, should be debated today in this house, Madam Speaker, especially following what the leader of the opposition said a while ago. I'm further disappointed, Madam Speaker, that it should be, the matter should be raised because one of the members of the public uh, account committee who wanted to place a minority report in this document was not allowed to place such a report. In fact, this report should not even be laid in the House without that, without that report being, being appended. So, Madam Speaker, I have a difficulty with this. Madam Speaker, it has been noted. I'll just read the motion, Madam Speaker, and you decide. Proceed, um, Honorable Member for the first. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Honorable Foy then proceeded to make his case by way of a lengthy motion which listed specific details that took the shape of a summarized view of the report document. Honorable Foy for a call for the report to be debated before any guaranteeing of funds by government for the crucial cruise pair project. After the motion was read by Foy, Speaker of the House of Assembly, Honorable Ingrid Moses, called for a division of votes among the legislators to determine whether the motion would be debated. The motion has been moved and seconded that the Public Accounts Committee's final report on the cruise ship port development project, which was laid 
earlier in the house be debated today? Those in favor? Aye. Those against? No. no. That's good, that vote. I asked for a debate on vote. Please, Mr. Speaker. Madam Clark? Madam Speaker, I don't recall the motion being asked to debate the motion today. I, don't, I thought the resolution was that that the, the contents of the motion, of the, of the document, be considered before the government proceed with the borrowing of uh, the approval of money. Honorable member for the third, I know your comment, but my understanding and from what the honorable member for the first said, I think he used the word forthwith. And there were two things he wanted the debate, which is why I put the question, and he's nodding his head in agreement. Madam Clark, proceed with the division, please. Opposition leader Honorable Ralph T. O'Neill says while he supports a debate on the report, insisted that the discussion be held first among members of the House of Assembly. As long as they're not voting, that it's not going to be debated at all. I mean, I, I, I couldn't vote for that. But I, so I must be assured. That um, it will be debated at, at some time when we um, get to the leader of the opposition and his troop and we discuss this. Premier Dr. Orlando Smith added his voice to the request made by Honorable Ralph T. O'Neill. With your permission, I'd like to reassure the leader of the opposition that we. We'll like to deb debate this our report, but it's really you know, not fair, or not reasonable to ask us to, deb to debate something of this size after only three days. And especially since the member for the, um, of the 8th district was not able to put his, um, his, his, his report into the document, which is his constitutional right. When the Speaker of the House called for the division of votes to continue, the opposition leader abstained. Continue with Honorable Leader of the Opposition. Honorable Ralph T. O'Neill. Abstaining. Honorable Malin Penn. No. Dr. The Honorable Kedrick D. Pickering. No. However, Honorable Andrew Foy, Honorable Julian Fraser, and Honorable Alvin Christopher voted in favor of the motion. Nevertheless, all nine members on the government side voted no. So, in effect, the motion brought by opposition member Andrew Foy for the PSC report to be debated forthwith was defeated. It is now left to see whether government would honor the request made by opposition leader and 9th District Representative Honorable Ralph O'Neill for a discussion among opposition and government members of the House of Assembly before any public discourse on the findings of the controversial PAC report. Sean Rose, JTV News.